Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, PhilPhoneKids.com. Today we got the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2. This is the successor to the Galaxy Fit, obviously. Uh, in the easiest way possible, this is a Mi Band 5 competitor. Uh, this is a cheap smart band from Samsung. Well, not exactly Samsung. This is sold by Samsung, but essentially built by the Chinese company Huachin. All right, the packaging looks rather standard. It's the same Samsung packaging. It's a smart band, so it shouldn't contain a lot of things. At the first glance, you have the smart band itself. It comes in two different colors, black or scarlet, and this is scarlet. Under that is a little packet containing the charger and the quick start guide. And that's it, nothing fancy, it's just a guide and the charger, and of course the band itself. Before we talk about anything else, the band now has a larger display of 1.1 inches up from the 0.95 inches. It's got higher resolution, of course, and most importantly, it now lasts up to 21 days, opposed to only 11 days of the predecessor. And this is even longer than the main competitor, Xiaomi Mi Band 5. Since we're looking at it, they share a lot of similarities. They have the exact same screen size, and they have the home button on the bottom of the screen. And they're both relatively cheap, simple, and long-lasting smart bands. The interface is rather simple too. You can just swipe around to see notifications or your workout status. You can start a workout. You can choose from your favorite ones or choose from the 90 different ones. You can swipe more for your stress. You can measure your stress level straight from your wrist. There's the weather panel. This is the stopwatch and the timer. And this is a little COVID related. Now it allows you to wash your hand every hour, two hours or three hours of your choice. And while you're washing it, it counts down 25 seconds to ensure a clean washing of your hands. I think the Apple Watch does this for like 20 seconds. I don't know why 25 here, but I'm pretty sure they got their good reasons for it. And after that, you're back to the notifications panel. You can swipe from top for your quick toggle panels. Here's brightness, do not disturb, silent mode, water lock mode so it doesn't touch around when you're swimming underwater. Find my phone, you can tap on that to ring your phone quite loudly. And lastly, you have this sleep mode and here's more that lets you reboot or turn your smart band off. Now, of course, this is something used along with the phone. So here we have the Galaxy wearables app. On the very top, you have the remaining battery and it's connected via Bluetooth. Of course it is because it doesn't come with the cellular functionality. There's no Wi-Fi, it's only Bluetooth. You can dive into Samsung Health for the detailed view of your health data. There's health settings. There's the option for notifications, step target, manage exercises. You can add or remove between 90 of the exercises. There's automatic workout detection. There are only four healthy pace elliptical trainer rowing machine and dynamic workouts whatever that means now it does not detect cycling like the original galaxy fed did you can keep your screen on during exercise there's the auto stress settings whether it's going to measure your stress automatically or not of course it's going to drain more battery out of it there's breathe settings there's the target of breathing and there's the auto heart rate settings, how often it's gonna measure your heart rate. Again, it's gonna have a hit on your battery life. You can set up alarm, weather, hand wash. As I said, here are reminder options, start and end time and interval every two, three, or single hour. As a smart band, of course, there's a notification options, widget, enabling, disabling, and the order of each panels. In the advanced options, here's wake up gesture. If you don't want the wake up gesture, you can disable that. Water lock mode, saying do not disturb with phone, good night mode, and you can edit the quick panel options. And get the alerts when your phone disconnects from your smart band. So if you're about to lose either one of them, it's gonna send you an alert. The rest of them is pretty basic. There are quick responses, find my band, account and backup, band software update, tips and user manual, and about band. And about the find my band option, since this doesn't have the speaker nor microphone on it, first, you can't answer your call on it. And second, the find my band is not gonna make any sound. It's only gonna vibrate. And lastly, here are watch faces. And surprisingly, they didn't do much innovation on the watch face front. These are unchanged from the original Galaxy Fit. They're shadow different. Shades of Shadow, Modern, Big Time, Date, Info 1, 2, 3, 4, and Analog, Health Info, and Large, along with Artistic. These are all you get. There are no downloadable options, there are no downloadable apps, it's just a simple smart band. One of the simple features is that it shows you who's calling, and you can decline the call, you can't answer it since it doesn't have a speaker. 
And when you get a text message, it shows you the contents. You can either open on the phone or you can send a quick reply with the set of preset messages. So those are the basic features. It sends you a alert. It tells you to wash your hand. It measures four levels of sleep. It's 5 ATM waterproof. And you can use it with the Android handsets or the iPhones. Now, one of the biggest things that I don't like about this device, even in the very initial stage, is its charger. Now, this plastic piece looks a lot like that of the Galaxy Fit E, which is a cheaper last generation model. The original Galaxy Fit, which looked like this, had a charger like this. It's magnetic, it snaps right onto it. It's not the best charger because it's not weighted at all. It's flimsy, it moves around, but it still was magnetic, at least. And even the Mi Band now at the fifth generation has the magnetic charger, it snaps right in. But look at this, the Galaxy Fit 2 has two terminals and a charger that you have to physically snap on to charge. And when you're done, you have to tick it off with force. And the problem with this is since it's physically attached to the little hook right there, as you continuously attach and detach it, these plastic pieces are gonna wear off. It's gonna look bad and it's gonna be not as tight as it initially was. To me, this looks like a horrible cost cutting decision. So we'll have to spend more time with this and get back with the review. Till then, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. You can always meet us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.